वेलकम टू नीलू हेल्दी कुकिंग टुडे आई एम मेकिंग वेजी पफ पेस्ट्री एंड मेकिंग इट इन अ वेरी सिंपल फॉर्म यू कैन एंजॉय मेकिंग एज वेल एज ईटिंग सो लेट सी हाउ वी मेक इट टुडे आई एम यूजिंग मलेशियन पराठा which i just got it from indian store and you can use puff pastry too this also works very good in place of puff pastry so now let's make stuffing taking round about 1 tablespoon of oil let it become hot adding 1 teaspoon of cumin seeds Once it's crackles, I am taking ginger and garlic paste. Ginger and garlic. Mix it well. Once you start getting aroma, add green bell pepper. mixed vegetable and i have already boiled it in a microwave for about 3 and a half minutes and drain water and you can take whatever vegetable you have at home okay so there is no hard and fast so i am taking these are green peas french beans corn and carrot and as i said you can take whatever you have on hand Okay, mix it well. And along with this, this is boiled potato and tofu. So I'm taking tofu and boiled potato. Good mix. So now we will be adding dry powder, dry spices. Taking half a teaspoon of a coriander cumin powder, three one four teaspoon of a turmeric powder, red chili as per your taste, and one fourth teaspoon of a garam masala powder. Now give it again a good mix, and of course salt. Salt to taste. And coriander leaves. Looks very colorful. it's all boiled we are using all boiled vegetable so we don't have to cook too much and we kind of want this dry we want to keep this vegetables dry because we are stuffing into the pastry so now everything is done and as i say we don't want to cook too much these are all boiled vegetable but before stuffing make sure you taste little bit so if you need anything more you can always add so let me try perfect okay so i'll allow it to cool for about 5 to 6 minutes and by that time Preheat your oven at four hundred degree Fahrenheit. 
So now let's start stuffing it. I'm taking this, as I say, the Malaysian paratha, but you can take a puff pastry, cutting it into half. Okay. So now I'll just stuff like this. it in the middle just like this I kind of like little more but if you take more you will not able to fold it so just take little at a time and just give whatever shape you want to give you can make a square too just seal all the edges Seal it like this. Perfect. So I am going to make this a big puff. Going to make it into half. So stuffing that way. Perfect. So just making it into half. Now seal all the edges. After sealing the edges, just take a fork and try to press it little gently like this. So it will seal properly and it will give a good shape too. Like this. Okay, so this is going to be my big puff. Few I am going to make small. So another style of making is just do arrange your stuffing. Okay. Okay. So once you are done with this, take another piece and just place it on it. And now seal the edges. So you can make like this too. it seal it I felt like making my puff into different shapes today one ball the large one the samosa style now it's ready to go in the oven and I have already preheated it so I'll keep it inside for about 20 to 25 minutes but please make sure you check it so I took it out from the oven and it took around about 40 to 45 minutes in my oven and it varies from oven to oven sizes okay so let's see how it's done look at it how crispy it is can you hear and see from the back also so nicely it's been cooked look at it I'll just open one small Get the stuffing also inside mm, smells so good and I'm ready to try with the stuffing inside let's check it it stay looks yummy mm -mm. it's yummy must try you can enjoy with your tea or a coffee or in your break. Thank you for watching and check my other recipes.